It's August 30th, 2014. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna do a quick hive inspection on these five hives. First thing I notice when I look is there's a ton of activity today. The goldenrod's breaking in New Jersey and the bees are really up. It's a little bit overcast today. It was supposed to be sunny, but um, it's warm enough temperature and they're really going. One thing I notice in front of this hive is there are a ton of dead bees. A uh, ton is a relative term. There are quite a few of them all over the ground. And the other thing that I notice about them is some of them are beheaded and they're also, all the internals are eaten out. It's really just a shell of a bee. Um, something's preying on the bees out here out front. So we'll keep an eye on that and see if we can figure out what that story is. So I'm gonna go in five, four, three, two, one today and let's see what we have. I'm really going to get to work today. I'm not going to do this more of an instructional thing. I'm just going to go in and you're going to see me work. Um, I have about an hour or so to work before I have to leave. So, First thing I notice about this hive is it's bringing in pollen. I see bright yellow, pale. I see lemon yellow. I see dark yellow. I see red orange going in the front entrance. So that's good news. They're, they're finding pollen sources. Can't tell whether or not this hive has uh, got good nectar stores. We're gonna find out. I'm just gonna give it a quick heft. It feels medium to light from a, from a heavy standpoint. A little bit of a smoke in the entrance. Let them know I'm coming. First thing to notice is bees are up here at the inner cover. Just a little smoke, let them know I'm coming. No critters, save for this one nest of something on top. Sticky, stuck to my fingers. Quick scan for the queen, she's not there. I have a medium super on top for them to store nectar in. I'm just gonna take a quick peek and see what the status of it is. Empty comb, no nectar in three. I'm counting one, two, three from me and away. Empty comb, no nectar in four. Darkness on that frame like there was brood in there at one point. That could be from an old hive. Empty five. Hive beetle running around on there. Now it is a dead hive beetle. I see a bunch of hive beetles here in the channel in the groove. Not to be surprised. And nothing in here. So they have comb to store, but they have nothing stored up here. And we know the nectar flow is not on yet for the fall then, because they're not bringing anything in. This is one of the frames where the frame rests have a metal shim that's got a channel in it, and the hive beetles like to hover in there. And that's what I saw. And chances are when I opened it up, I released them all where the bees had them in jail. But only saw a half dozen of them, so I'm not really gonna go crazy about that. Not looking straight over, but angle on into this. So this is a box where I had given them five new frames to build out. Haven't been in this hive since August 3rd. Last date of my inspection. Going to go in frame number two and see what I have. Now mind you, they've been in the dearth and this hive has not been fed 
whatsoever. So if they build out comb, and they've started to here, but they don't have a lot. So frame number two is just to start out on comb, but nothing there. Check three. And I see for whatever reason they've attached three to four in a couple spots down here. So I'm just pushing it back so I don't do a lot of damage to four. I don't know why they do this at times, is connect the combs together, just probably to bridge so they could walk across them. This one's really heavy with nectar and their head in. I see a lot of nectar, I see fresh bees, and I see some cap pollen. So this is their storehouse. Now I'm just going to go into about five, six, seven, and stop. This again is a brand new frame. They built some nectar out, but not much, or some comb out, but not much. I see some pollen stored in here. And when I just disconnected that, I ripped this wire out. So I'm going to fix it so I don't get, end up with wonky comb at some point. Put it back in the channel and straighten it up some. Okay, so that's happy. So I would expect that very soon they will get to work at building these combs out. Okay, I have brood here, which is what I was looking for. Lots of fresh eggs, larvae. Good looking. I'm going to look for the queen real quick. See if she happens to be in here. If my notes are right, I don't have a Mark Queen in here, if I remember correctly. So I don't need to go any further. I know I have a great hive right here. There's tons of fresh brood right on this frame right here. So one of the things I'm going to do is a quick mite count. I want to make sure I don't have a queen on here before I take a sample of these bees. I'm going to take a half a cup and I'm going to do an alcohol wash. But again, I'm going to really make sure I don't have any queen here. Now this is where you want to do this. Incidentally, I do see some drones in here. I'm being very careful to make sure I don't have a queen on this frame before I knock it down and sample because I do not want to dispatch the queen in doing a mite test. I do not see her. So I'm going to leave this frame out for a sec while I get my stuff prepped. Frame two goes back in its spot. I'll take my inner cover and put it here. my sampling ready to go. This is just clean alcohol, no mites in there. It's been cleaned off. I have my half cup measure. I'm going to bang this frame in. I'm going to collect the mites. I'm going to take a half cup measure and I'm going to do a sample. One more time looking for the queen. I'm going to bang them into the bottom. I'm going to one more time look for the queen in my sample. 
and then I'm going to sample. Looking for a queen in here. Don't see one. Come down here. Get my half cup of bees. Dump them in my container. Now I'm done inside this hive, so I'm literally just going to button it up so they can get back settled. I've heard this year from other beekeepers that the mite loads have been really small, which is good news. Now I'm literally going to shake these bees. I'm trying to knock the mites off of them in the liquid. What I have here is two peanut butter jars. You could tell by the color they were skippy. This is going to dislodge any mites from the bees and this is two caps welded together with a soldering gun and they have a piece of screen in between. Now mind you, I am really shaking these. Now what I'm going to do is turn it over and I'm going to swirl it and see if I can get the mites to come down on the side. And I'm looking for mites inside the sample. As I let it settle, I see two. <coughs> As I let it settle, I see two mites. Oh, that's always good. Try that again. So you want to stay below a threshold of one mite per three per hundred. And my sample is 300. And what do I have in here? I count two mites. One here, one here, and that's it. That's good news. All right, so hive number one, I'm done. I've met my objective. If I'd have found the queen, I would have liked to have marked her if she's not in here, but that's not what I'm into today. So let me keep going. Let's go to hive number two. I'm gonna give them a little bit of smoke. And I'm gonna do that same procedure. Now I have to get rid of these bees and I have to take those mites out of here so that I don't screw up my next one. So let me take care of that off camera. Okay, hive number two, let's see what we got. Get bees at the upper entrance. This box has two deeps and honey super on top. Quite a few bees up at the entrance. No sign of hive beetles or anything here, ants. Now because I have this on a rail, I've put my 
inner cover, outer cover behind me. Oh, they really have this propolized. You could hear the cracks probably from the camera. A small number of bees, no queen. I'm going to put them back in the hive. You know, you're not supposed to bang and crash and whatever, but that that motion generally does not seem to disturb them for whatever reason. So, again, what I have here is a honey super that I put up here. I have full frame, new frame, full frame, new frame, full frame, new frame, and the expectation was the hope that I'd take this full frame, which would have something in it, and these don't except for an occasional, and that they would build out the new ones next to them, and they have not done anything with them. So whatever reason, this hive probably could have been fed so it had some nectar, but as I look across the top, this extra honey box is empty. Now the good news is the golden rod and Asters and whatever are up, like I said, so I'm expecting that uh, they'll put this to good use. Just gonna set this over here for now. All right, what do I have going on here? I see a bunch of bees in between the frames all the way across. I have a new frame here. Doesn't look like they built anything out. Just gave a little bit of smoke here so that I can get in and get to my hive tool and not crush any bees while I'm taking a peek. Now I'm going to get serious and go right to the middle. I'm not going to bother with the outside frames because I can see there's not much on them. So I have a little bit of nectar storage here, not much else going on. It looks like there was some brood in here and some pollen stored down in the bottom of some of these. This is an Italian hive. The bees are huge to me compared to the carnelians that we have. I see no queen here, no brood. I'm going to quick take a peek at the next one. Again, I'm after either the queen or the brood. This one also has those metal rails. In fact, they're on wrong. That's fascinating. They're pointing out and they're making it really hard for the frames to come up and out. This is somebody else's box, not mine. Originally. And I have a brood frame here with drone brood through the middle of it. <coughs> uh, what to make of that they're making a lot of drone here? It's an interesting note to make. But the good news is these are nurse bees, so if I don't find the queen I could take my sample here. And incidentally, this is a great place to take a sample because mites like drones because they incubate longer. I'm just making sure I have no queen here again. Just going to take a little time. What I see mostly is the typical frame with a ring of pollen, a ring of nectar up in the corners, lots of nurse bees. no queen. So good here. I'm going to go ahead and take my sample on this. So just like before, get everything prepped before I move my bees in. So 
if you missed my commentary earlier, a half cup of bees, that's this half cup measure, is 300 bees. And the threshold for mites is one mite per hundred bees. So as I look at these bees and I scoop a half cup, I should have no more than three when I'm done. One quick scan for the queen. Do not see her. Shake them down, make sure I have a full half cup. I do. In they go. Put them back on their frame where they came from. You would think this disturbs them quite a bit, but actually it's not that bad. I have yet to get stung, which is good. I take my frame and put it right back in here. Yeah, so note to self, I gotta take this box apart. I'll make a note on my hive inspection form. that this box needs to get fixed because it's not done properly. Upside down. medium heft on that box. So you notice I've been taking these samples from the brood area. It makes no sense whatsoever to take them from the forager bees. At the front entrance, off the top cover. If you've been doing your sampling from that area, you're not doing the right thing because you're not gonna find the right mite thresholds there. It has to come from the brood area. Okay, in this box I see five. I have four mature mites and one, two immature mites. And the way that I can tell that is I can look at the mites and their deep dark brick red color, that's an adult. And the ones that are pale in color, blonde so to speak, are not fully matured. And I have a couple of them in this sample. So this hive is a watch. I got stung right there, just popped right on me and it's an incidental sting, not a deep one, but strange nonetheless that they just land on you and sting. Never understand that. Okay, so notes. I do keep my inspection forms, so I have notes, and I've made note that that one form was incorrect, or one box was incorrect. All right, gonna cover this one up, going to hive number three. Let's go. Okay. Don't know what to expect in this hive. Got a feeder on top. This hive was not the strongest hive. The feeder is uh, got an inner cover on it, but it's empty, of course. The 
question is, did they use the feed that I gave them? I filled this feeder twice. And we'll see what they did with it. Lots of bees up here in box number two. One bee showing me interest in my veil. Taking a look. This box had a lot of brand new frames in it. So we'll see if they did anything with it. I don't see anything down here on this end. This is a brand new foundation frame. Lots of bees on it, but no wax. I'm not anticipating finding a queen here. It's interesting they've chewed channels across the top for them to traverse inside the hive. Showing a lot of interest in me in this hive. They're all up on the top looking at me from the comb. That's a foundation frame that they built out, which is good. Just gonna give them a little smoke, drop them down a little bit. I'm in frame number five. Felt a little bit of bridge comb to the bottom. And I have brood here. Pollen in the bottom, brood in the top, medium number of bees. They're head in taking pollen. I've got pollen and brood right in the middle of all the, or pollen and nectar right in the middle of the brood, which is interesting. Look at brood on this side also. New brood. Looks good. We've got new eggs though. Just brood. Couple uncapped cells with larvae in them in the corners. So again, I'm in a brood frame. I got eggs and, well, I got at least larvae here that's relatively fresh, not been capped yet. I think I might go one more in. See a bee doing a waggle dance here. That's an interesting frame, but not interesting enough. I might go one more. And the good news is that was a foundation frame and they've built it out and there's some brood in there. So what I did here in this box is I had brood all the way through the bottom box and nothing in the top. And I pulled the brood boxes up and trying to entice them to get in this box and, and put brood in stores and then fed them twice. This, this box I think started out as a swarm box, swarm capture. So here's some old, here's some, oh look at that, okay. Is that what I think I see? Yeah, I have brand new brood all the way through this entire frame. It's all emerged on the top and across the center and upper left. The lower left has just a little bit to emerge and I have brood in every single cell all the way through sitting in liquid. So this is definitely a nurse frame right here. Which is actually what I expected to find. Same story on this side. I have brood that's emerged all the way through the middle. I have brood that will emerge eventually out of the top. 
and this has to be nurse bees all the way across. So I'm going to take my sample off of this frame. I'm looking for the queen. I have a queen cups on the bottom. Four of them on this frame, but nothing in them. Again, just being careful that I don't have a queen on here before I take my sample. Don't see any, so I think we're good to go. I think this time I'm going to do this one a little differently. I'll do it right here. Up. Now there's an interesting thing. I just looked in here now and saw the queen. She is marked. So figure out where she went, but I definitely don't want to sample this yet until I make sure she is good to go. Stung me on the palm. Queen is marked in here yellow, or at least I saw something that looked like a queen. Could have just been pollen on a bee, but it always gives me pause to make sure I don't do this. I am, as you can imagine, really leery about sampling this if I think there's a potential queen in here. But I thought I saw something. So I am going to be extra careful about taking a look. Now there's one running around with pollen. Now my queens are marked with green and I saw yellow. But this hive could have come from somebody else. If I know my notes right, this was a hive from another beekeeper that started the year. We did a split. And I want to make sure that I'm not going to grab a queen in here. I must be seeing things because I do not see a queen. And I'm usually very, very good at spotting them, picking them right out. All right, going to be brave here <laughs> and take my chances. Because I do not see that bee I saw before. Put these girls back. Ah, oh, there's something interesting. I see shiny. Ah, that's what I saw. Okay. There was pollen, or not pollen, there was nectar on the bee and it was shining in the sun. I could see it here drop. And that's what I saw reflecting in the sunlight. So I'll tell you what I noticed in this hive is it does need a little more food. because they have not built these frames out here and they're not two full boxes and they need them to be that. So 
So I'm going to do my mite sample and I'm going to prep some food for them tomorrow. I will be back to feed them. That sting was a deep one and my hand is all swollen already. Sting number two today. So I had a feeder on this box and I'm going to put it back. This box had a ton of ants on it last time I checked it. Today there are no ants. This is a good thing. I don't really need this inner cover, but it goes with this hive and I don't want to lose it, so I just leave it here. So I think that's it for me today. I'm gonna get going. I was gonna try five, but I think three will do. Let's see what we do for the mites here, and then we'll call it a day. That's interesting, that was not a bee, it was something else. Native pollinator. It sucks sacrificing these bees, but the fact of the matter is if you don't check for your mites, you're going to sacrifice all of them. So. I know some people get rather upset about this. You could do a mite count using powdered sugar, but the effectiveness of it is not as good. And if you're gonna take the time to do mite counts, you might as well do it the best that you can. Okay, I think I got it enough. Let's see where we are. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 mites in this sample, maybe even more. There's another one floating down, 12, 13. 13 mites, this box is walking dead here if it doesn't get treated. And actually sitting here at August 30th, I should have done it in the beginning of August, but I've been in St. Louis and in Puerto Rico on vacation and now I'm back and I have chance, but it's not too late. This hive needs to be treated today, tomorrow. Not a good sign. Tomorrow we check that one, that one, and the other four, and we see what we have, and we take a look in the top bar hive. So I want to take a quick moment to show you what this looks like. And I'm hoping you can see that there are a number of mites right here. And as I move them around, you can see them all settle down in the jar. If it were a bright sunny day today, they'd be easier to see. Let me see if I could tilt the camera up even more. And let you see through the light here. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody.